Uh, Ember? Hello? Wow, this place is amazing. One minute, we're in the lab. In un instante, we're in the jungle. Scary jungle. <gasps> Emoji wide eyes, open mouth face. Hey! <laughs> Welcome to my Emberarium. Oh, don't y'all worry about Horace. He's all bark, no bite. I mean, he is a Venus flytrap. But he's got a very sensitive stomach. Last time he sucked in a bug, he was sick for a week. This is Priscilla and Lady Hallengate. Uh-oh, do I gotta separate you two? Embryofta and Bryopsida are having some personal issues. So, regarding the three team mineral thefts, as you may or may not know, so much of our technology and electronics rely on three Ts because they're able to pack high capacitance into very small volumes. She means the ability of a system to store an electric charge. That's what I said. For instance, our tablets, phones, laptops, video cameras all contain tantalum, which allows the circuitry to function smoothly. And tungsten's used on everything from cell phones to laptop screens to light bulbs. So you can see why they're so valuable. That could be the motive behind the stolen shipments. Ember, you sure know a lot about earth sciences. I know all about what makes up Mother Earth. Minerals are her children too. Anyway, the problem is that in some countries around the world, like the Congo and Africa, these same three Ts are called conflict minerals, meaning the money from the mines where the minerals are found and later sold are used for warfare, which puts these poor miners and their families in incredible danger, which really rolls my socks up, if you know what I mean. Sure. Roll rolls your, your socks? socks? No idea. I'm just so glad I'm a part of this team now. Mark my words, we'll find those three T thieves and make them disappear. Um, we don't really disappear, people. Okay, find those guys, hog time, love, and make them beg for mercy. Don't really do that either. Find those guys and call the police. Can't we vault? I always wanted to tie a hog. <laughs> We need intel on the port security vulnerabilities. You two look inside the warehouse and I'll do recon around the perimeter. Recon? Intel? Perimeter? There's so much mysterious lingo, it's practically another language. <laughs> hey, get a move on, sailor. He's not a sailor. I'm improvising on the not thing. I like it. Those bananas need to be exposed to ethylene, caballeros. Maybe you can get them to the ripening room? Sometime today? Did you know the banana plant is the largest herbaceous flowering plant? Often, often mistaken for trees. Oh, look at us! Fondy oh, over bananas! <laughs> oh, Jesus! You are not gonna believe this. Remember when I said I'd find a way to thank you for hiring me this summer? And I said it wasn't necessary. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. I found a way. Olivia James is coming to Cafe Adams. Eso es imposible. I remember you telling me how Olivia James is a culinary genius and how she brought nutritional foods into classrooms across the country. Well, she's coming to Space Inc. to develop a sustainable menu for Mars exploration, and she's looking for outside contributions to her menu. I can't believe this. This is a dream come true. Wait, wait, it gets better. I used my social media followers to convince her that when in Maywood Glen, the place to go was Cafe Adams. <laughs> She posted about it and made a point that she's gonna be here Friday night. If I can prepare something sustainable, healthy, and delicioso, maybe she will include it in her Mars menu. Okay, stay calm. Bryden, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I can use all of my culinary chemistry skills to show they have a place in science and space. Promise me he will help me make something perfecto. Promise me, chica. I will. I promise. Pinky swears. Okay, too tight. <laughs> yeah. I don't get it. Professor Cato's a big deal scientist and he lives in a trailer? Looks like someone left in a hurry. Really? Kinda looks like my room. 
So what? Cato fails to steal the biomed prototype and decides to get out of town before someone catches on to him? Could be. Check for anything suspicious. I'll dust for prints. By the way, love the new bag. Digging the purple. One of the perks of being the owl. Okay, these are creepy. Never understood the obsession with clown paintings. Looks like the professor was moving into mixed media. Check out the treasure chest. Of course, it's locked. Bingo. Flash drive. Devin's exactly where you said she'd be. Yep, Devin gets angry about something, Devin expresses it through graffiti, assistant principal Wilson freaks, Devin gets in trouble, and Devin has something else to be angry about. It's the circle of life. Okay, let's go talk to her. I hate the talking to her part. What's up, Devin? Looks like you got a lot of cleaning to do there, huh? Yep. Well, if it helps, I always find cleaning to be soups relaxing. When I'm stressed, I organize things, I clean things, I email things, I text things. Say things. So many things. Oh, we're not here to talk. We're here to help. With this. A bike? Not just any bike. A bike, when I add this and do this, generates electricity. <laughs> you might want to put these on which allows us to power our own personal sandblaster. We create clean energy by letting the pedaling do the work. And as a bonus, it's a great workout. I'm mildly impressed. Now what's in it for you guys? You have to help us amp up our opening act for Elite's contest. You know, with all the funky, cool, artsy stuff you do. Look, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm gonna have to pass. This cleaning doesn't bother me. I could do this all day. Fine. Have fun. I don't want to do this all day. We were hoping you'd say that. OK. I'm in. Awesome. <laughs> but on one condition. You promise not to talk as much as you normally do. Deal! You have my word, and my word is rock solid. Just take it from my girl Cam here. She knows that when bright and bandwidth, she promises. No one can resist my delicious gelatin treats. I might have to do my chip chip hurry every Friday. From the side of this crowd? Wait! Everything's going according to plan. Maddie's going to take the green gummy bait for sure. ourselves a gummy bear hog. You know, Randy, it'd be polite to leave some of Adrian's gummies for the other customers. Just saying. Who are you, Evergreen? The gummy bear police? <laughs> That's cute. Now don't make me ask you again. Randy, you should try some of my famous honey beads made with drops of honey, gold olive oil, and agar agar. So nice they named it twice. Here. Wow, talk about a great disguise. Yeah, but not great enough to fool her little sister. Welcome to Cafe Adams. The midship was a wise choice. <laughs> and feel free to load up on toppings. Hey, you told me I couldn't. Chatting with the customer, Randy.
Where was I? I myself am a chocolate sprinkles crushed peanuts kind of gal. What kind of person are you? A person who's leaving. Uh, hello. You got this. Michaela, can you tell us about some of the programs you and the others have contributed? Uh, sure. Right this way. Uh, so this is Ember Evergreen and Bryden Bandwidth, and they've created, created Maywood Glen's very own vertical forest <laughs> by planting hundreds of plants and vegetation all over Stone Acres. We calculate that the plants will consume carbon dioxide and deliver between 75 and 100 kilograms of oxygen per day. And with my sick computerized controlled drip irrigation system, I mean sick like amazing, not sick like bleh, <laughs> we'll be able to minimize water use by 75 to 80 percent. We like to say drip is the new cool. We don't say that. We could. We won't. OK, uh, thanks, guys. Uh... Amazing, right? OK, <laughs> now you have to try this. Good job, girls. <laughs> um, and this is Adrian Adams and Cameron Coyle, and they created Cycle Sickle. Using pedal, power, the ice, and salt, turn at a higher rate. Creating a culinary explosion of flavored helado, ice cream. Using zero energy from the grid. Try my culinary white chocolate with ancho chili pepper. Like me, fabulous with a bit of a kick. Wow, so inventive. Don't look at me. The students of Maywood Glen deserve all the credit. Michaela in particular, she is a wonderful role model for all young women, including my daughter. <laughs> Hey, sweetie. Mr. Stone, right in bandwidth? I remember. Drip is the new cool. I knew it would catch on. Hashtag trendsetter. I just wanted to let you know that I am a huge fan of Stone Television Network. I watch it all the time. And it actually inspired me to make my own web series. It's called Bryant's. You know, right in science. Bryant's. Get it? I do. I'll have to check it out sometime. Really? Send me the link. I want to see it. <laughs> oh, jeez, he's going to watch the show! Oh, Michaela. Do you think he's going to like it? I just want to thank you again for spearheading the new engineers program, especially considering my history with your father. I was glad to help, and it's OK. My father hasn't been a part of my life for a long time. Well. As a way of saying thank you, my wife and I would like to invite all the volunteers from Maywood Glen Academy to our home for dinner one night. That'd be great. I'm sure Bri will be there. <laughs>